The British monarchy is adjusting to new royal roles since the death of Queen Elizabeth, after the longest reign in its history. Here's CBS's Holly Williams. When the Queen died last week, her son Charles, age 73, got the job he's been waiting his whole life for. The recent displays of regal irritation, including with a leaky pen, oh God, have some wondering whether the new king has the grace his mother brought to the job. Two other people also got new titles. Our new Prince and Princess of Wales. William, the Prince of Wales, is next in line to the British throne. And the last person to hold the Princess of Wales title was Diana. Two tall, elegant women, but also shy, thrust into the public view. I, Charles, Prince of Wales. Charles was the former Prince of Wales. His investiture in 1969 was a display of British pomp. More than 50 years later, Kate and William live in a very different age. A majority of British people support the monarchy. It's a lucrative tourist attraction and arguably brings political stability. But these days, the public expects value for money. Hugo Vickers is a royal commentator who knew the Queen for over five decades. The fact that they take seriously an enterprise, a school, a hospital, a dying person, this is a really important role. Kate and William are much better liked than the King, according to polls. So could their star power be a problem? It should be a benefit, but he may not see it like that because, as I say, he's been through this before. You think he shouldn't think about this as a threat? He should see them as an asset? He should. Holly Williams, CBS News, London.